creating process of Hershey's. 80% of the ingredients are cocoa, milk, nuts, and sugar. They start with the cocoa pods they get from cocoa trees, and each tree only produces about 30 pods, and there's around 40 cocoa beans in each, and it takes 500 beans to make just one pound of chocolate. So for every tree, there's only about 20 chocolate bars that they can make. The second step is the ro roasting process in which they roast the cocoa pods to get the flavor. And then the windowing step is next, and they break the shell of the pods, and they get the small chocolate beans. Then they go to the conching process, which takes them hours, and they ground the crumb into milk chocolate. They mix the ground crumb and additional cocoa butter. This is what turns the chocolate into the creamy milk chocolate taste. They temper the chocolate to make sure its taste, smell, and smooth texture are all there. The chocolate is then poured into molds and cooled, and then whenever it's done, they package it up and send it on their way. Um, Hershey's process, the Hershey's process was a secret, and they still keep most of it pretty secret, but that is the bits they have given out. So now I'm going to talk about how the store came to be. So that is Milton Hershey, and he's the founder of Hershey's Chocolate. He got his start making caramels, and he opened two other stores, candy stores, that failed before he opened the third one, which was his hit, and he spent three years perfecting the process of making milk chocolate. The first Hershey's product was available to the public, introduced to the world in 1894. Milton Hershey decided to build the flagship Hershey's factory in Pennsylvania because of the abundance of quality milk there. This opened in 1905, and still today they use that factory. He also built for like all of his employees, employees, he built a town there, and he built Milton Hershey School, Hershey Trust Company, Hershey Park, and Hershey Entertainment Resort. So that's the factory, and then that's like the Hershey Park, Hershey School that he also made. Yeah. So he like made all those for his employees. And when Hershey's was new, they would hand wrap each of the Hershey Kisses. But now, about 80 million Hershey Kisses are made a day. His company was the first company to mass produce chocolate, and before then, it was only for the wealthy. So thanks to him, anyone can buy chocolate. Um, an interesting thing about Milton Hershey is that him and his wife were actually signed up to go on the Titanic. They booked a trip, but then last minute, they had to cancel it because of business stuff. So today, we're, <laughs> we're going to look at the different kinds of chocolate. They started out with a simple milk chocolate bar. This is the most common chocolate bar because it's just plain milk chocolate. Hershey's now have a wide range of flavors compared to back in the 1900s. Hershey's cookies and cream bar are famous for their white chocolate base and cookie bits that are similar to Oreos, which is the one you had. And this is one of the few Hershey's chocolate bars that's available and sold in the UK. This is in the cookies and cream one that was introduced in 1994 and is marketed worldwide. 
the milk chocolate almond bar is also commonly known chocolate bar. But I did not bring that one today just because there's some better ones than the almond one. Um, the newer kinds of chocolate is the cookie layer crunch bars. These include chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie bits and one of three fillings. So they come in mint, caramel, and vanilla cream. So show of hands, who thinks that the mint one who thinks that the mint one would be better than than the caramel? Oh mint so much better. I like okay. both. And then caramel. Chocolate is chocolate. Okay, so, wait, hold on, hold up the mint. I think both are good. Mint, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then caramel and the rest of these. Okay, so I'm going to hand these out. These ones came out in December. I guess it's Those are huge. Jesus lives. Wait, it's a mint and a mint. Wait, I'm not a mint. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Where's a mint, Josh? Uh, uh, I'll take this because... Mint and mint. This is really good. Oh, wait. I like this. Oh, no. I probably gave it. According to, like, their customer testing, they said that these, like, chocolate bars have, like, the highest ratings that they've, like, from any product they've had. The caramel ones? I've never tried. No, there's, like, all these, like, <laughs> this tastes like those things that girl scouts can use. Yeah, they want them to, they were like trying to get the. It's so good. You might regret it. I think I'm getting like. Oh, me too. Mint? Yeah. Okay, that's the last mint one. Okay. Now it tastes like I have gum in my mouth. Did you try this, Raven? Yeah, I'm waiting until after lunch. I have self control. What? All right. Yeah. After lunch? Oh, that was a weakness. <laughs> Just a bite. Yeah, there you go. Why is it so caramel? No caramel. <laughs> oh, this is so caramel. No, you didn't. No. Well, it's because well, she sent a lot of like handing right, right. stuff. Wait, this whole front row had compliment, right? They all had mint. They were large. Thank you. I want to save it for her speech. Because you're going to eat that. It's dark chocolate and the vanilla caramel. Oh, no. Caramel is better. So, in conclusion, we can see that the wide range of chocolates has majorly advanced since the first chocolate bar. So, next time that you're getting chocolate, so right now, be thankful that Milton Hershey created the mass producing of milk chocolate so that anyone can eat it.